Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Dragon's Milk Stout Mocha Mint from New Holland Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So we are going to try Dragon's Milk, uh, technically triple mashed stout. This is the 2017 version. Um, the bottle date is 9-26-17 and thank you to Jessica for finding this. Mm, you're welcome. Do you want just a little? Yeah. Um... This is a 17% ABV and 31 IBUs. I don't even think that I... I don't remember trying the regular Dragon's Milk. Level it's showing I had this, so I'm not sure what beer festival I would have had this at. Uh -huh, I don't know. The winter one? Could be. Now, okay. Now, the bottle says 11% ABV and untapped shows 17 I'd go with the bottle. I'm going with the bottle. So sorry about that. Uh, mocha mint, uh, chocolate, peppermint flavors. Just a hint of coffee. Let's go for it. Um, really no head at all. What I do have is almost a khaki color. Um, I would say it's a dark brown color. Uh, I do have a amber hue on the bottom. And really, we're drinking this because you love all things chocolate mint. Yes, I love mint. That's the only reason why. Smell? I'm actually a little disappointed in the mint smell because there's it, not much it, one. It, to me, I get like coffee, uh, a little bit of roasted malt with some alcohol. Yeah, I was hoping to smell more chocolate mint. May, maybe a hint of smokiness. I guess I'm not going to get the chocolate because it's a stout, but, right? Well, no, you could. I don't know. Yeah, nothing really sticks out, nothing really hits you in your face. I'm guessing if you gave this to uh, ten people, nine of them couldn't tell you it's a mocha mint. Mi it would, not mint, but mocha. Mocha, yeah, right. coffee. Okay. Okay, taste. I'm get okay. I'm getting the hints of peppermint there, but I want this to taste like chocolate mint. Yeah. And it's not, but I don't know that I don't think it's supposed to. I mean, it is a festive blend of chocolate and peppermint flavors with just a hint of coffee. I'm getting more of a coffee with a hint, a splash of mint, and no chocolate. Yeah, like I'm getting a barrel aged, like almost. Like a bourbon yeah. up front. Yeah. And then as it goes to the middle, there's a tiny bit of peppermint. You know. Then some alcohol. It should buy another one. And age it? No. Yeah. It says it's good with chocolate cake. No. Oh. And make a chocolate cake. Then I bet it'd be good. Yeah. I, I, I could see that just because. You know me with my pairings yeah. and all. But I, I, I really don't get any coffee. I think that the taste is, is more coffee than any of it. Uh, yeah. And I'm getting some of the the bourbon. <laughs> um, yeah, I, Not I would what say I expected, kind I of oak bourbon barreled up front. Then into the middle, you are getting some, a tiny bit of peppermint, then some heat maybe a little bit of roasted malts as it goes down. Can I just say that I think this is too many flavors going on? I think there's not enough chocolate and mint. I don't th I I don't think there's Do enough coffee mint for okay. a mocha mint. Yeah. There okay, should yeah. be more coffee and mint. Yeah. I mean we've got the the barrel age, the bourbon and then the, Which is going to be your standard. Right. Yeah. Okay, but there's still going to be a taste of it, of the yeah. bourbon barrel. And then mocha and yeah. some chocolate and some mint. Right. So I think that's too much. It's got too much going on. It doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, but it, yeah that barrel, that barrel 
I think covers up, I'm guessing, the mint and the coffee. It overpowers what could be. Yep. What would you rate this? Probably Not like a 2.75. I don't really, I don't really like Too it. Too much barrel. Yeah. Yeah. Blech. I would Even go, if it was a mocha mint, it wouldn't be bad because I've been drinking right. the stouts, and so yeah. I'm not so, you know, persnickety. But, um, I would have to go 4.25. It's so still, it's not that bad. It, it's a good beer. It's just, I guess, I'll knock it 0.75 points because there's really no coffee, no mint in it. As they say, fair enough. Um... When I first had it, I gave it a 4.5. Okay. There have been 5,000 ratings on this for an average of 4.43. Wow. One friend has rated it at a 5. And Interesting. And that is Tyler. Okay. That's all yep. right. That's all right. Yep. That's all right. Well, we got to wrap Sorry it up. Sorry, dogs. little dog is barking. So we're done here. The kids are upstairs playing. <laughs> cool. So that'll wrap it up for this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share and hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.